today what we're going to do is we're going to work on section um, 10-1 and we're going to work on part 2 um, and we're going to look a little bit at the parent kid situation. Um, if you remember from um, the other day, um, we said that we would have the equation y equals ax squared plus c. And that was the formula we were looking at when we did quadratics. Remember this is a quadratic um, equation. And what type of um, what type of graph did this look like? Was it a line? Was it V-shape? Was it U-shape? It was U-shaped, right. So when you graph these, make sure that they are actually U-shaped. Right? Now, let's take a look at the parent function right away. Um, you'll notice that it's right here. Um, if I take a look at the A, what is the A value on this? It is 1. Yep, it's the number in front of the x squared. And if there isn't a number, it's automatically a 1. Okay, and then if I look at the c, what's the c value? It is 0, that's correct. Okay, so that is the parent. Now, mom and dad never change. Those are the rules, those are the rules, right? When you do the parent on your paper, remember you can put it at the top of the paper and you make an h table but you only have to do one table for the parent because it never changes. Okay. Let's take a look at the kid. So the kid has changed from the adult or the parent. What is the A on the kid? Three. It is 3. And what is the C on the kid? Zero. 0. Now if we were to graph this, because you now have done a little bit of graphing, what would this graph look like? How is it different from the parent? Okay, so I hear vertical stretch. It's steeper, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my graphing calculator and let's take a look and really see what's going on. So I'm going to take my equation, x squared, that's mom and dad, okay? And here's the kid, x squared, 3x squared. And let's take a look and see what happens. Here's mom and dad. Here's the kid. You'll notice that the kid is, it is more narrow and so it's a vertical stretch. It goes up quicker. Very good, okay? So I am going to write down vertical stretch and it opens up. Okay, it's going to open up. And what I mean by that is this. If I take a look at the graphing calculator, you'll notice that both of them, their vertex is on the origin and they both go up. Okay, that's what it means when it says go up. Alright, that was one of the kids. Now let's take a look at another kid. <clears throat> what is my A on this equation? It's negative 3 and what's my C? Zero. Okay, so now it's negative, not positive. So what do you think is going to happen? Okay, you think it's going to be a vertical shrink? What else? You think it's going to be a reflection over the x-axis? All right, let's take a look and see what it does. So I'm going to go back to my equations, and I'm going to insert a negative in front. Okay. So here's mom and dad, and there's the kid. Whoa, right? The kid went down, and it's still steeper. It's still more narrow, isn't it? Good. So it's still a vertical stretch. And it opens down. And I really like what one of you said. It is a reflection over the x-axis. That is correct. All it means is the parent opens up and the kid's going to open down. Okay? But I like that reflection over the x-axis. Okay. Let's take a look at the next kid. Okay, my A is what? One half. One half. 
and my C is, it's still zero. So now A compared to mom and dad actually got smaller, didn't it? Mm -hmm. So what do you think is going to happen? Think of vertical shrink. All right, well, let's take a look at our graphing calculator. I'm going to go back. And I'm going to put 1 half x squared. Here's mom and dad. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Here's mom and dad. There's the kid. So it opens up, doesn't it? So it's actually shorter, right? So yeah, vertical shrink. Very good. It's a vertical shrink and it opens. It still opens up. Okay, I got more kids here. What's my A on the next one? One, one and what's my C? Four. It's four. So what do you think is going to happen on my graph? Are the A's the same? Yes, but the C's are different. So how is that going to change my graph? What do you think? I mean, I don't care if you're right or not. You think it's steeper? Yeah. Okay. Does anyone else have any ideas? Again, I don't care if you're right or not because you don't know. We're learning. So maybe go up higher. Think the whole oh, thing yeah, shifts up, or yeah. maybe, it gets but then it the same maybe wider? Maybe stays the same width, but it goes but goes up. Oh, okay. Do. All right. Let's take a look. And the thing is, is it's good to say, okay, if these numbers change, like what's going on with my graph? That's why we're doing this. All right, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to clear this one, and I'm going to go x squared plus 4. Okay, here's mom and dad. There's the kid. Now, the kid looks more narrow, doesn't it? It does, but the reason why it does is because I shifted it up higher. Yeah, so this is um, shift up four um, same width and it opens up mm -hmm. oops there <clears throat> now when you graph these today you still have to do the H table and plug all your numbers in but the reason why we do this is like on the ACT, let's say they give you an equation. Well, if you know that your A is positive and it's supposed to open up, then two of the graphs that open down, I don't even have to look at those. And now I got a 50-50 shot of doing well on my test, or at least on that question, okay? All right, let's look at the last one. Um, A is one, C is, so what do you think is going to happen? Okay. Yeah, so notice that you're able to make an educated guess on what's really going on. <clears throat> Here's mom and dad, and there's the kid. Again, it looks a little bit wider, but it really isn't because it's shifted down. So shift down four opens up same width. Okay. So it's the same width. Questions on this? Thank you. Alright, let's move on then. Let's talk a little bit about the role of A. Right? Take a look at the graph. If I know that um, let's say um, if A uh, equals 1, think about the parent, the parent is 1, okay, how was that like mom and dad? What's the, if A is 1, they have the same, same 
same width. If A is less than 1, um, well, if it equals 1, they're going to have the same width. Okay? If it's less than, wait a second, that's a great question. Here, let's go back. Let's erase this for just a minute. If A is less than 1 but bigger than 0, then it's a vertical shrink because it's going to be a fraction, right? Mm -hmm. If A is greater than 1, it's going to be a vertical what? Stretch. Mm -hmm. If A is positive, it opens what? Up. Oh, oh. If A is negative. So there's two separate ideas there. It talks about the width. So if the width is the same as the mom and dad, or one, the width is not going to change. It's going to be the same. If the width, uh, A is bigger than one, it's going to be a vertical stretch. And it goes up quicker, it's more narrow. Okay. If it's a fraction, so if it's between 0 and 1, it's going to be a vertical shrink, which means it's going to be wide. Okay? Questions on that? Okay, roll of C. Okay, if C is what? Is 0, what do I know? Vertex. Well, C doesn't deal with width. Okay, so the vertex is on the at the origin. Yes, yes. If C is greater than one, shift up. And then if C is less than, I should say greater than zero. So if C is 0, it's at the origin, the vertex. Okay? If it's greater than 0, it's going to shift up. If it's less than 0, then it's going to shift down. Now, hint, hint, hint. This is a test question. This is on your test, the whole enchilada, all of this, the rule of C and the rule of A. In fact, this is a test question that I'm going to write down word for word. Okay, it's going to be on your quiz, it's going to be on your homework quiz, it's going to be on your test, it's going to be on the test review, it's going to be all over the place. Questions? And it's not hard. The rule of A works with the width and whether it opens up or opens down. C shifts the vertex up and down. We okay? Questions? Okay, and we can even write if you want to. This is the um, width. And opens. Now, I would need you to explain it more than it's the width that opens up or down. You need to tell me in detail, but that's general idea. And then this um, moves the vertex up or down. Okay. You okay? Again, 
you still need to do, you know, the H table like this. You get x and you get y equals x squared and y. I mean, and you still have to put in values. What values did I say would be good to put in? Negative 1 and 0 and 1. And you can put that right at the top of your paper. Okay, you don't need to show a lot of work on that. When you do the kid, however, okay, you're going to go x and then you're going to put whatever the function is. Maybe it's, you know, 4x squared and y, and you put in the same values, okay, you put in the same values. So this is just like the notes we had before. The reason why we did what we did today is now you can take a look and go, okay, I know it's supposed to open up, but when I graph it and it doesn't, there's a problem. I did something wrong, and what did I do wrong? Right? All right, that's it for today.